Who is Riff Raff? Um, well, I'm not a doctor. I'd probably dress like Kanye if I was going out in public. How would you describe yourself? No, not something like that. Just no, like I want to open a Mexican restaurant. My Mexican restaurant will only have fajitas and frozen mm -hmm. margaritas. That sounds like a shitty restaurant. Have you ever seen a cow um, take a shower? Wait, why doesn't cow and toe rhyme? Since you're so smart. I mean, I had a 2.4 GPA in high school. Uh-oh. What would be some sour chips flavors you'd come out with? Animal muscle tissue, animal hair, animal eyes, any liquid fluid from an animal. Some people think that the riffraff persona is like a like an act. <laughs> exactly. No, not. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Don't Be Sour. I'm your host, Max Tuning, and today we are here with the neon icon, Peach Panther. We have the Tangerine Tiger, Lamborghini Leg Lock, Riff Rambo, White Wesley Snipes, the man himself, Riff Raff. How you doing? Did I leave any of those names out? So many. What's your, what's your favorite Dale name? Dale D'Antonio Banderas, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Can I ask you about the White Wesley Snipes? Why do they call you the White Wesley Snipes? Um, Cause I, I, I was in um, White Man Can't Jump. I was, I was supposed to be in the new one, but then they, they like got some people off the internet. Like I think that they, they got like some people out of the comment section of like somebody else's movie or something to be in that movie. Okay. I didn't know if it was cause you were like a daywalker vampire or you evade your taxes. Um, no, I got to pay my taxes. Otherwise, did you pay and they were due like two days ago? I always got to pay taxes. You got to. Have you ever thought They'll about come after you? I thought if they, I, what if you just don't, I, I don't know if they actually come after you. So when I were in, in 2012, like when I got, I think 2012, right, right. 2012, 2013. That's when I had my uh, neon icon album. And that was the first year that I had over $1 million in my bank account for the first time ever. How'd that feel? And when, well, it felt good at first, <laughs> and I'm spending. And then by 2014, I had um, switched accountants, and they were like, they were doing some back research, and I hadn't paid taxes yet. So they were like, you, you owe like, like 400 and something thousand in taxes. This is after year two. They were like, you, you owe like 400 and something. And I'm like, what? I so, 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 and I live in California. So they, I, I ended up having like to, Pay taxes. That's when I learned. I was like, okay, whenever you get, if your accountant is doing it right, then they immediately like set money aside almost in a savings yeah. account. They aren't even gonna let you overspend because it's just gonna be a problem at the end of the year. You know, I have a rule that if someone leaves something in my house for over 24 hours, it's mine. I feel like that should be with taxes. Like if you, if, if they haven't come after you in a year, you don't gotta pay them. You get a free pass. Yeah, you should. I mean, if you make money and it's your money, like, how do you have to pay something back? The like the word taxes, they're just saying like it's a word. Like, and the IRS is like they don't even tell you how much you owe, but they will tell you if you missed any. Yeah, they're like just give us some money. Like how much? You're like I don't know. And then even if you like pay, if you let's let's say you owe somebody something for school loans, whatever credit card or something, and you pay it all back, if you don't work out a payment plan with some with them, then then even if you pay it down to zero, it doesn't matter because you you got to organize it to have a letter of like consignment or whatever it is to sign off on so they take it off of your credit how about this next year we both will make a pact we just both don't pay our taxes and see what happens don't you don't want to do that. that you don't like the you don't like to gamble mm, i like to gamble but not like that mm, i don't think the irs actually come after you but i want to gamble where it's a it, you're either going to grand slam or strike out if you don't pay your taxes you're going to strike out that's true you ain't going to get win no money you're, you're not. I, honestly, with some cool shades like that, I feel like they should just let you off the hook. They should just, like, if you make over a certain amount, like, if you have, like, diplomatic immunity, like, if you're going to be paying 40% or some shit that way more than somebody else paying, well, shit, I should have a fucking, like, they should be giving me, like, bulletproof armored cars and a, a house and all kind. Like, you, you, if you're contributing to whatever the government or the society, whatever they have you paying for, if you're going to be paying that much and you're paying way more than other people, well, what do I get then? You should get like a membership or something to the United States Club or something. You get like a free, like you're you're admitted into. You can go to any golf course or something. Give you something like you get a you get 24 hours of yacht service every every week. <laughs> I like how you said bulletproof car. What about bulletproof vest? But then you got to worry about getting shot in the face. No, you got to have cool shit. Like they got to be giving you something. Like they got to play offense, not defense. You can't be worried about the defense part. They should be. If you're paying, you should be giving extra. 
We should start our own IRS. No, we start our own yacht club. Yacht club? Yeah. It'll be the board, board gorilla something. The boys and very boys. <laughs> I have a question. You have the super, super cool sunglasses. Would you mind if I wore a pair of cool sunglasses? Somebody grab him some sunglasses. Where's those black ones? I had those locals right there. I got glasses everywhere. No, not those ones. Remember those ones? Those I need guys? the coolest pair you got. No, those aren't cool enough. He's, she's going to grab some. You know, I actually always keep a Open pair. Open any of those drawers. I always keep a spare no, pair of sunglasses. Those, those are, no, those aren't them. Those aren't it either. Those are pretty cool. And no, any of the drawers, not, not the, nope, not those. What was those black ones I was about to put on right before this? No, any of the uh, cabinets. Cabinets. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, close. It's close. Nope, not that one. Uh, <laughs> up top. You see some up top? What you got? And there's some, sil there's some silver Versace's. You got Versace's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them wear those silver Versace's. I found these under my seat. Let me see. Those are pretty cool. You like these? Those are pretty cool. You have Versace ones though? Yeah, I got some Versace. What, what kind of those? This is $5 Amazon. See, if somebody has to, somebody ask, I'm saying I shouldn't even ask you. I should have been just like, those are cool. The, I think. Cool shades. I should have been it. like, actually, these are uh, these are new Bugatti sunglasses. They just came out. Cool. Those, those are Versace? Yeah. These, can I wear those? Yeah, you can wear these. Oh my God. I'm going to wipe them off for you. Now, if I break these, I don't got to pay for them, right? There's some products here. This, I think this would be good. With what Probably the want. nice sunglasses. I see everyone. like you, you got some like white gold on your, on your watch, so that'll match that. Oof. See? Is it all about matching the swag yeah, you, up top yeah, down yes, below? Because if you had a gold watch on, then I'd go grab you some, some gold. Or if it was rose gold or copper tones, and I'll give you like something of a... Do you like to wear tone. the sunglasses so then you can just like look at people without them knowing? No, I just... My eyes are like really sensitive to the sun like if i was to be like this i'd be like this the whole time hey what's up are you are Can you sure it? you don't you're not called the white wasted snipes because you're a vampire and the sun hurts your eyes i go in the sun though but just gotta have the gotta have the um anti-squints okay let me ask you this you know I mean? do, you, do you drink alcohol i shouldn't i, I recently like really kind of stopped if i drink like two white claws now i get i get hung over the next day it's crazy it's let like dude i used to go on tour Drink a whole bottle of whatever, Patron. A whole bottle? Yeah. I mean, I drink, yeah, like, like a whole, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. A whole bottle, but it's like through the night. Like, you're just drinking swigs after swigs, starting at like 8, eight o'clock at night. By the time you go on stage, like 11 o'clock, after three hours of drinking, like, you know what I mean? Like you, you're, you forget the words of your song. No, nah, not that, because I, I think I've, if you do something enough times, it's like riding a bike. That's true. You know, but, but. You definitely feel it the next day. Let me ask this. I normally on my podcast I do I do a shot to loosen up with the people. Yeah. Would you I would love in the, my history book so I could say I did a shot with Riff Raff. Would you do one? Damn. Because I don't want to freak you out, but I, I also I always travel with two little bottles of warm vodka in my pocket. Oh my god. Would you do a shot with me? Fuck. There's a lot of peer pressure in this room. No, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna re revert. How about warm tequila? I got warm tequila too. I just can't really drink. That's all right. We'll put it aside. Okay. We, don't, we don't need alcohol that fun. It's like it's like running shoes. You Man, don't need them. I'm em. telling you, like the I used to like have to drink to do. Anything. Well, you're focusing on your body now, right? Kinda. I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. It's just like my mind, really. I know that if I drink, I'm, I'm gonna like be woozy for a little bit and have fun, but I get tired. Yeah, alcohol make, makes me tired. Make poor decisions too. I mean, I, that's whatever. But <laughs> those, are the best, the, like, those are the best. Those the best decisions sometimes. I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like it makes me. It makes me too just sleepy. Well, I feel like you got to cut out the alcohol a lot if you're you're you said you're you're really getting into your fitness and your your workout game. You look swole. How Thank much you. how much you weigh right now? Like two twenty. I will never weigh that much my entire life. What does it feel like? To I, walk I weighed two fifty at one point when I was just eating really really. Whatever I wanted, and I was trying to gain weight. I was like two fifty. I couldn't even tie my shoes. Is that when you were in the the Hot Ones interview and you had the Mark Jacobs yeah. jacket? You're about to bust out of yeah, that I thing. Yeah, like two fifty. I was really. <laughs> I bet on the back of your jacket it just had tears down the back from when you go get the wings or something Man, like that. Man, it was really that that it started. I started swelling up. How yeah. much? How much do? You, how much are you working out right now? Every day. Yeah, but I'm more like do cardio. I like run. You don't want to get too big. 
Not even, yeah, I mean, I would try to get big, but it's just like lifting weights. I'd rather just like do some longevity. What's going to be longevity? You know, like what, what can I do every day? You know, like I'm not going to be jumping off of houses and drinking a bottle of vodka every day. Because if I do that, eventually, like, I'm going to crash out. Or break your ankles. You know, that's, a, that's crashing out. Okay. When did you get into fitness? I've been playing sports since, you know, you're from Texas, right? I am, well, I'm from Virginia, but now okay. I, I just... How long you live in Texas? Four magical years, oh, okay. a little over four years. Okay, well, in Texas, like, when you're growing up, like, it's like you're either going to... When you're, you're either born and you're going to be a quarterback or you're going to be playing football or you're going to be a cheerleader. I would definitely be a cheerleader. You know, but the, mom, well, gonna, the parents going to, like... You're going to be in Pee Wee Football League. So, I, I mean, I've been playing sports for, for forever. I've been playing football, baseball, basketball my whole life until I started doing, like, really, like, do, being more into music. When you, you said you'd been playing basketball, you've been hooping your whole life? Yeah. I've been even, told. Even after, even after I stopped, like, really, you know, I stopped playing, then I do music, I still play basketball. It's my like cardio. Would you consider yourself above average at playing basketball? Yeah, I could play in any like any of these celebrity games or shit, Drew Leagues, Howard Pulley Leagues, anything. I I mean You can I hold your own? The uh whenever they have the big three, that, I mean that's that's a I'm not a big sports better. guy, so you gotta talk oh, okay, to me like okay, I'm a, okay. like a dog. Yeah, I mean so so like there's there's a bunch of like basketball leagues that they got for celebrities and they, they just don't invite they don't invite me. That's not you're but, too good. That, you probably they're like, Cause I'll, be, I'll watch them, and man, they, they all suck. You don't embarrass LeBron James, you know? No, not play against LeBron. I'm talking about other celebrities or like rappers uh, or something. They don't, they don't invite me. They know better. They're like, it, it, like, is it bad if I get too many threes in a row? Is that, is that yeah, bad? Yeah, they don't want me to come out there shooting threes. Uh, w did you ever think you were going to have a, like a basketball career? Yeah, that was my whole... I was, what, what? I would eat, sleep, drink basketball. I'd wake up at 7 in the morning, go basketball. I, I'd... Play basketball every single day. Why did you Why did you give up the basketball dream? Um, basketball coaches. I, I if I would be, I would be at one uh, I'd play somewhere, and I would like the if the coach loved me and I was starting, I'd get you know I'd average twenty points and just like I'd get to do whatever I want. Everybody treated me a certain way, like they treated me like I'm the star shooting guard. And then one time I transferred uh, schools. Um, like my junior year, uh -huh. uh, well, junior to senior year, and then I came in and the like the coach, the players like me, but the coach like already had his players or something. And I wasn't even thinking about that because I just knew I was friends with all the the mm. players. So through the summer, we're uh, friends, we go to the start playing, you know, at practice, and the coach starts putting me like on the the second team. What? And, and, and all the star players with, with me, they're thinking I'm starting. So then even the players start treating me different because, well, if the coach is treating you like this, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like how in, in society, like, well, if the, if something, if the, you know, people get, are like sheep, you know what I'm saying? But also, what's you going to do if, if the coach is telling you you aren't starting? You're just going to sit down on the bench? I'd rather quit school. So that's why I quit school. And that's right when you started doing the rap thing? I mean, sure. I mean, I was always into music. Okay. Well, before, before we kind of go back into your, your history, can you, can you tell the people, in case they don't know who this icon is right here, who is Riff Raff? That's, a, that, that, that's something that if, somebody if, else would have to put. You know if, you're ever, if you ever meet someone that you've never met in your entire life, and yeah. they're just like, what do you do in life? How, what do you describe what you do? Me? Yeah. What do you tell? If you're in an Uber... I put it on, I put the thing on on do not talk. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a feature? Yeah, like temperature, radio. Don't talk to me. Some shit like that. Yeah. Okay. I do that one. And and where did the name Riff Raff come from? I don't know. Out the sky. You don't. You didn't make it. You didn't think of yourself. Uh -huh. You know, because I looked up Riff Raff in the dictionary. Yeah. And it says. People with a bad reputation Damn. or a low social class, which I think is some bullshit because I think you're the opposite of that. I guess the, then the, I moved up to Jody Hyroller. That's and then, true. And then Dale D'Antoni. You know, you need to send a cease and desist. There's a woman's boutique online of shopriffraff.com. I've seen that. Can't be having that. Planetriffraff.com. How, how, how did they get it over you? The planetriffraff.com? No, shopriffraff. 
If you search Riff Raff on Google, Shop Riff Raff comes up and it's a bunch of cutesy wootsy. How'd they do that? Some wizard magic or something. Some Google ads. They probably saw you blowing up and then they're like, we got to get this. Did they call Google and say, hey, we're the real Riff Raff? You think they did that? Is that possible? They probably just threw some ice cubes in their mouth or something. You think? Lied to the people. I think they did. They did something wrong. Well, you know, they with, did something wrong or I did something wrong. Uh-oh. With, something wrong. <laughs> the whole team's uh, like, how do we not have that? Huh? With so many nicknames, I, I, I don't really have any cool nicknames. What would you call me? Mm, I, I mean, you don't know I, me very well. I, I'll, I'll make you a point. Okay. Yeah. If, if, vibe it out throughout the show. And then by the end, you okay. think of like the coolest one. Okay. I, w- I want to tell the people how this podcast even came to be because I reached out to you on Instagram, I think back in uh, August, was like, hey, Riff, would love to have you on the pod. And I know you're popular guys, didn't get to see it. And then one day in last month, I'm at the gym, I'm walking around and I look at my, my Instagram and it said that you followed my account. How did you stumble across mine? Um, you're like, I don't run my, my own Instagram. Uh, <laughs> may, no, maybe, uh, I think I was something. I can't remember. You probably just looked at me and saw that I was like a really cool guy. Yeah. But what's crazy is then I was like, oh, that means he definitely saw the DM. So I went in the DMs again. Yeah. Still hadn't seen it. I was like, this man, follow me. Still didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I just saw you, something you were doing. Or I got a cute dog. It's probably was golden doodle. Bit. Okay. Not it's necessarily that. That was the do- that was the it thing that got been. you. But then we set it up, and here we are, man. We made it. I know. And you got to, this is, this is a content house or is this where you live? Yeah. Yeah. No, this is, this is something I've been building. Like uh, we remodeled upstairs. We got, you know, we shoot videos here. Yeah. I have my engineers in town. We record here. So it's like, this is a big studio. And the thing I like about this, um, this neighborhood. Yeah. It's, it's guard gated. I can walk, you know, when I'm in town with my huskies, we could walk, walk around town, but the walls are, ri- these houses are so well built, it's like soundproof. You could be outside listening to, like when we were listening to- good walls. When we were listening to the, um, yeah. When we were listening to <laughs> This the, is triple pane glass. Something like that. Yeah, when we were listening to the Ferrari song, so I was outside, and you, like you, could, you can't even hear it. Like, and that shit loud. was loud. Yeah, loud as fuck. You have a, like a stadium soundproof. speaker in this, in this house to bump all your music. Yeah, mm-hmm. and one thing I noticed about this neighborhood is you can't even you can't even sneak in here because they have a gate that you okay. go through, mm-hmm. and then there's another gate you got to go through when the first gate goes down. So you can't have your buddies just like sneaking in. Mm-hmm, do that. All the guards, the old guy that was here had like two AKs. They say, they said, Who are you here to visit? They they're sober and they say stay strap. <laughs> Sour straps. Sour straps. That's what I'm talking about, man. Sour strap max. <laughs> Let me ask you. Is that, is that it? Yeah. Sour strap max. That sounds kind of good. It's better than when I grew up. People call. They got to change the I to the A. People call me Maxi Pad, which I don't really think that's, that's that not cool. Good. That's not cool. Yeah, they they fucked up. <laughs> they could have got free sour straps. I know. Damn. Now you're from Houston. Yeah. Why did you leave the great country of Houston to come to Florida? Um. Well, you know, gotta venture out, spread my wings. <laughs> Florida's more beachy. It's more vibe. I I like Texas. Texas. I I'd, I'd get a ranch there somewhere between Texas and I mean, she like. Houston and Dallas or somewhere near Austin outside or something. I'll do that. Just not right now. Okay. I, I love Texas still, but it just it ain't for me right now. Now, Florida. Doing too much right now. Florida, I, you know, you hear about all the people. I mean, y- y'all, like, ba- Florida basically invented bath salts and everything. Y'all have like zombies running around. Even just being here. I wasn't around during that time. You weren't around here d- during then? I moved here like about four years ago. I was here last night and there's some people. Bath salts? I mean, I don't know what they were on, but there's some crazy people just like running around the streets at all times. Do you ever, do you ever like run into th- like that type of? I don't go out that much like like that. But where where were you? Where were we? Uh, West Palm. Which West is- Palm? No, 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 no. Fort yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Fort Lauderdale. You went down. You went out somewhere. Or you went down. To- no, we flew into we flew right, into right. Fort Lauderdale. And then, and then where'd y'all go that you saw all this at the airport? <laughs> right to our nice hotel, right near. And they were outside. Yeah. Things get crazy around the United I mean, you're States. At, it, it's like when you're at the stoplight. You know it's bad when you're at the stoplight and there's someone outside and you just have to double, make sure your car's locked again. You just hit the lock button like one more time. I don't think anybody's going like, to go in. But you never know. Yeah, stay, you know. Every crazy you story, people are always out of Florida. 
What do you think about that? I think there's more than just crazy people in Florida. A lot of mosquitoes. It's a lot of mosquitoes. A lot of mosquito stories. You know, one thing I didn't realize until I came here, there's Mm. people who, everyone's driving these big ass Jeeps, big ass trucks. Got to have big trucks. It's a lot of water, a lot of water floods. Is that why you like? A lot of actual water floods. I know y'all's airport just got literally underwater. Or the Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale. Mm, Luckily they cleaned that out. I, I mean, I don't... I like, I mean, I, I like to stay like about 30 miles inland because if it's a hurricane and it hits the, if it's no matter where it's coming from, yeah, wherever it impacts that, that's going to be some damage. But then when it hits, it's going to like stay right there and keep causing damage. But so even if it was moving like at a certain speed, uh-huh. once it hits land, it's going to slow down. Like the velocity of the spins are going to slow down and the movement is going to slow down. So if you stay like 30 miles in, then you aren't going to be affected too much by, well, no matter what angle the hurricane hits from what Do side you, or city. You know how you hear about hurricanes that like the eye of the hurricanes, is that the calm or is that the tornado? I think both have a, a eye. You, you ever swim in the ocean? I don't like going anywhere past my waist. Okay. It's too... Uh, murky it does but if you ever do go in the ocean when the big waves come people always they, they dive under the wave right to go to go through it i think if a hurricane was coming i would just try to dive through the hurricane to get to the eye where i would stay safe mm. what would you do i'd probably just stay about 30 miles inland <laughs> well to be honest you said your house was really built I, I think this would this would withstand it some hurricanes and tornadoes have came came through. You just see some some whip, uh, some palm trees whipping around. It's nothing too much. Okay. I go on the balcony, smoke one. As far as you go. Yeah. <laughs> you said you said you don't like to venture too far out of the area. What is like a what is a typical day in the life of Riff Raff? Um. You said you you lift as soon as you get up. I do some push ups, hundred push ups. A hundred. All the way down. All the way up. 25, and then take a break, and then 25, and then 25. Okay. And then the last 25, um, and then I just get up. <laughs> you can do push-ups on, uh, on a mattress. You can do sit-ups on, a, on your mattress. Me? Yeah, you should. I, don't, I can't even remember the last time I've done a push-up. It'll be like, it'll be like it's like good for your muscle, um, what's it called? Stabilizers? Muscle twitches. Something like that. It's good for if you're on Twitch and you're live streaming while you sleep. You do push-ups on your bed? I don't do Twitch. You don't stream? Or snack chaps. Snapchats? You usually have sour, sour, sour chats. I, he, snack, snap, snap snacks. Snap, snap snacks. Strap. Yeah, but then, but then, but, snacks. But then, then <clears throat> rap snacks will come after me for similar names. No, so How about this? If we have, if we, we have. Come on with sour snacks. If we have girls. No, not. Girls that represent the brand. We call okay, I like that. Sour strippers. What do you think of sour strippers? I like it. And then I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if girls would associate being a stripper with being a sour stripper. That's completely two different things. So, and they have stripes on it? I mean, they can wear whatever they want. Okay. But it's got to be made out of sour strips. Ooh. What if they go in the water? Too bad. That's their decision. The people who made the water? No, the girls who decided to go in the water. What if somebody told them to? Um, well, I guess they should rethink their life decisions of doing things that people tell them to do. If someone tells you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? How high is it up and how much do I get money-wise? 45 feet and 600 That's bucks. That's too high. Do I have a backpack? It's filled with bricks because you just got done building a house. That's not, I wouldn't do that. Hmm. This doesn't sound very lucrative. See, that's the gambling thing where you either strike out or hit a home run. There's no home run on that. Do you do you gamble and like do you actually gamble? You know, throw a little dice. I gamble every day, just by waking up and living. Exactly. Oh. You see where we're going with this? I see. Very nice. And I think I think with your, you know, you avoiding things like alcohol even under peer pressure when the camera's on. Sorry. Folks. I think I think that'll help you live easily to over 100 years old. I want to be like 110. You make it to 100, I think that's... A lot of people, you ever hear people say that they don't want to live past 80 or 90 because they think they'll just be like old and wrinkly and... It's a very pessimistic way to live. That's what I'm thinking. But would you want to live to be over 100 if all your friends didn't live to be over 100 and you're just hanging out with your old wrinkly body? No, not. 
I'd be in shape. I'd be like, I'd look like the rock when I'm 100. By the time I'm 100, I'd call like you Rock Raff. Riff Rock. That sounds better. I think I think I could be 100 and look like the rock. What do you What do you do for fun at 100 years old? I'm not 100 yet. Why would you, How would I know? I know you got to think about these things. Why would you know that? Hmm. What are you doing tomorrow? I don't even know what I'm doing. You today. live in the present. We can do something tomorrow. <laughs> we can do stuff. He's like, I'm gonna be gambling. Only if only if the stakes are high enough, though. I think I don't eat steak though. You don't, oh no, because you're vegan. Mm-hmm. Tofu steaks, sautéed. Whenever they try to like make, have like a vegan option at a restaurant, and it's just, and they just put it like they'll they'll just make it like oh we have a vegan option, and it's just like iced tofu on a stick. Here you go. It's like at Chipotle, they have the uh, sofritas. No, so, that one's okay. But you have to get the dressing. Do you, when you go to Chipotle, do you, do you know about the secret dressing? Look, I've done a lot of secret dressings in my life. It, you, are you talking about the vinaigrette? Yeah. I don't know if that's a secret. It's right, in the, it's right on the options right there. A lot of people don't know about it. Hmm. And what you, you see a lot it? of people say, oh, before you close that burrito up, you get one of those orange secret sauces or those orange very well-known sauces that you put on everything that tastes make chipotle taste okay it does good but you said you're you said you're fitness conscious you, there's like 200 calories in that little i don't tiny- care about the calories i care about if as long as it's not animal muscle tissue animal hair anim- animal hair animal eyes any liquid fluid from an animal any toenail hooves animal dicks that too people eat that that's i don't know why it's like liver food. king i don't know I don't know there's a people, man out here. I don't eat anything that's of an animal body. Okay. I think it's gross because have you ever seen a cow um, take a shower? I have not seen a cow See? take a shower. See? Do you think they take cold showers like the people who? I, they, I don't think they take any showers. I think they should just be, let them go roam in the, roam in the pasture fields. If you, let's say you do live to 110 okay. and at some point, unfortunate circumstance, you pass away reincarnated as a cow in this day and age but like a dairy cow on oh, a nice God. farm all you do is just eat grass and shit all day who's taking care of me your team they're gonna be they, they're gonna come back reincarnated as the cow herders oh so so they get to be human again and i get to be cow yeah i think when you get to Doesn't a reincarnation like, line you spin a wheel and it's just like ah, cow person why don't you get to go to a, somewhere better and beyond like why do you have to come back to this place well i'm just saying if, this, if you gather you these be, experiences then you're like oh, okay i know what this is and what this is i know good from bad i know pain from fun now i get to go you don't know if being a cow might be the coolest thing in the entire world you it's, sneeze and milk comes out of your nose ah, and shit. Ah, that's not very cool. Ah. When did you become a vegan? About four, three years ago. But did, I, yeah. something traumatic happened for you to decide. Or I you, saw this documentary, "What the Hell." That's what always happens. People see these videos. Well, I, well, not just a video. I mean, I just watched the step by step of like what they were, the what they were saying that they put into food now. What do they put? You just gotta watch it. You really gotta watch it. I'd rather. I'm not a doctor. Like I, I can't explain. I, but I. I'm a visual learner. So when they're breaking down the science of what's in things that are like, okay. It's just like food, the, um, the weight of something. Uh-huh. And you're selling it per pound. You're selling it per kilo. You're selling, if it's drugs, right? You're right, right. It. Yeah, I know all so about you, that. So if you put something into something to make it heavier, and it's like, oh, this is a kilo, but really it might be it's half foot a kilo. filled with rocks. So now, now you go back to the, the meat. Okay, the sirloin steak, this is $30 for this one pound. Let's just say, well, if you're putting some type of steroids or something into this to make it heavier than what it is, it's equivalent to like selling fake drugs so that's what really and even if you're eating organic grass-fed whatever like, i just feel like the blood molecules of something i just the blood so you're more worried about the stuff that goes into the meat and not the pain, about the and the pain of the animals you know what i mean like I, I just don't believe in pain okay causing pain to somebody else then somebody then somebody want to be particular well what if you cut the grass you're hurting the grass that's true okay well then you ever punch a tree <clears throat> Have I kicked a tree like a, a bunch of times until it fell over and broke in half? I'm just saying trees are alive. Okay. You, that means you killed something. 
I know that's the, that's the thing about Earth. You don't get to you don't get to pick every, everything. Do you think you'll ever go back to eating meat or not? Nah? I mean, no. Nah, what if you're trapped on an say, island you know, and they only have fully cooked steaks and there's no plants anywhere? Where's uh, there's a chef there just cooking yeah, steaks? Yeah, and all he has is like, no oh my fruit. god, we there's got no trapped fr- here with all these eight hundred thousand pounds of sirloin steak and there's this freezer with a plug that goes underground to the secret power source crap and then what about you can only eat sand trees nope you can eat sand or steak or die i mean i guess i I gotta eat it if i got to i have a choice um, i mean look i have like thousand pair of shoes and like probably half of them are leather that i you know what i mean I'm not like burning the shoes or giving them away well the damage has already been done you you know? know and i got a car that's you know the ferrari has leather seats that's not something I like brag about, but at the same time, like if I was Ferrari or I was one of these car companies, there's so many more durable, comfortable, um, heat repellent, waterproof, fireproof uh, materials, uh-huh. futuristic that you could be using other than skin. That's it, true. It, it, it ain't, you know. It I, ain't. I agree with you on a lot of things. Yeah. I understand it. And if you ever came back to Animal, you couldn't do the music, which I know you love to do. I, I, I want to I want to kind of deep dive on into the mind of of an artist because I don't get to do this very often. Now you've been around, you've been on the game, you've been in the game for a very long time, and you've been producing music after music after music, still coming out with with, with hits. You got a big one coming up with Wiz Khalifa. Mm-hmm. That actually, I think uh, we're going to drop this podcast right, a couple days right after it drops. Okay, so that's exciting stuff. Take me through how, how does, how do you come up with the lyrics of a song? Actually, question. Do you come up with the lyrics of a song first or the title of the song? It starts with the beat. What? If it's, if it's a beat that I can make the hook for, I have to have, be able to sing a hook to the beat. And sometimes I'll like a beat and I won't be able to come up with a hook right away, but I'll set it aside and it might take two, three years. To, Years? Yeah, but I'm not sitting there trying to think of the hook. I'll just be like, okay, save that one. Put that the hook's aside. like the verse, put, right? I, so I have like a folder that has like probably 500 different beats that I've selected and maybe put a harmony on. Maybe I did just a hook. Maybe I like the beat and I didn't even put nothing or, or no harmony, nothing yet. Uh-huh. But that's just how I do it first. So if I, I got to have that first before I even... So you you have the beat and then you figure out what words flow with that beat. Mm-hmm. Damn, you do it. I, I didn't know. Is that how most artists? I don't do it? know. I mean, I think maybe some. If you okay, if you're a really really big artist, then you I'm would not. be in the room with like probably four or five, ten other people, and there's writers there that have songs that are pre written mm-hmm. that they wrote that are really 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 well written, and it's perfect for whatever uh, uh, of the times, and it's like written really well and it's like kind of sculpted for this artist so maybe you don't have to write your own songs or you write a song or the, the topics of how you want to write it and then you build the beat around it with certain like instruments or something like that but i would want to do that i just never got to do that i just had to do it myself i mean I, you you said it, picking a beat you said one time that you could uh, I believe you could freestyle to a dolphin and a tambourine. We did that, me and Mac You found Miller. a dolphin with a tambourine? Well, no, I was at Mac, me and Mac Miller made the beat on the spot at his house. And um, we're just like adding things in there. He's like, what, what should we add? I was like, put a dolphin in there. And then he found like a dolphin sample and he put that in there. And then like we added, he was like, oh, we should add a tambourine. And he added a tambourine. So Does then this- in the, while I was writing, while we we're making the beat, then I wrote that. I could freestyle to a dolphin or a tambourine. You you said you smoke a little bit, right? At night, yeah. D- does that does that help with your uh, the create creativeness of like? Are you writing or are you singing or recording? Sometimes it helps. Sometimes it it, it makes me just be tired and I'm just you want to go sleep. I, yeah, but sometimes it it helps. Mm, okay, that's a gamble. What other gambles do you do? What's the gamble. last gamble you've done? Mm. Where if it if it if it went the other way, you'd be like, shouldn't have done that. Mm. So many things flowing through your brain right now. So many gambles. We'll have to come back to it. We'll come back. So with the, with the music now, I 
like I said, I didn't know about the, about the, about the order of the beats and the, the lyrics and everything like that. What, what is, how do you know when a song is done? Or do you, are you always like, kind of like, ah, oh, no, I can, like we record and you're like, nah, fuck, I can do like a better, a better hook on this, a better. Yeah, I do that all the time. Like, I'll, let me reset, I'll do it 10 times. Then you give, if you're a really good engineer, uh -huh. it's, um, it's, uh, that, that's what really, really matters. Yeah, but, uh, but also step, the step one, uh, you know, good equipment, like everything, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, like when you, if, I don't know how long you've been doing podcasts, but a year. I'm sure you, oh, yeah. Did you start with these mics? I did. I, I try to. I kind of so try you, to come out the gate with the best right. of the best. That's good. How you gotta do it? You, the lights and stuff. You know, that's I mean? right. You want to come out with the, the right stuff. Well, I'm trying to make sure my my guests look beautiful. And then you take it from that, and then you the edit. You want the edit is like the so there's a recording engineer, which is like equivalent to like the audio, right? And mm -hmm. then you go to before it comes out the edit, the coloring. You know what I mean? That's like the mix and the master. Okay. So the engineer who's mixing and mastering that is equivalent to the editor for, for videos. That's very important too. And then the coloring is like the mastering. Okay. So it could be the perfect edit and perfect everything, but then it doesn't have that pop to it. It needs the, the perfect icing on the cake. You don't want shitty icing on you a quality perfect, cake. Right. You have to have the perfect quality cake. Then you put the icing on, you know what I mean? And, I feel you. Yeah. And the sprinkles. Do you, how, how do you think uh, music has changed so much from when you started to now? Good, bad? Mm, how much has it changed? I mean, you can go back and listen to songs from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and then you can see like a difference in how much has changed is the, I'm not even gonna say, see the quality, the quality is always gonna be something. And I yeah. think quality is going back to be like a forefront, like people are going, not, and even in movies and Netflix, if you see like these CGI shows that are just blowing things out of water, whereas of the last probably 10 years, then TV uh, network producers and everything were like, well, fuck it. We'll just throw some alcohol in here and we'll get like 10 random people and here, here, just here, make us a show and we're the producers. That, we just produce a show. That's not a show. Like, have you seen the new, um, what's it called? Uh, Adam's Family, but it's Wednesday? I have. Great show. How, crazy like the cgi and the level mm -hmm. of that like nobody's ever invested that much into shows and tv and that's the same thing with like music if you watch the videos of like um the shit that's coming out yeah now, like people going back to spending a million on a video do you like music where it is where you are now or d when you first started that kind of like the world then i mean i like the i like mu music and videos from like the 80s and 90s yeah you know what i mean and back in that time what's Altered is that things that are on social media. You couldn't talk to the TV in the '80s and say what you like or not like. You yeah. could you, that didn't have a a sway in what a, a network would do or what. The, I think like whenever people are going off of whatever is social media, like that's not that's not how it should be. But I'm not a network. You know what I mean? That's true. You're <laughs> the network, man. Yeah, you gotta make your own. That's right. You gotta make your own. Yeah. And when when you first started making music, when did you when did you first start making some cash? When, uh, like when when you first started to rap, I feel like everyone starts out like making music, yeah. right? And then 2012, it, 2013 is when I started really making money in music. Yeah. When I dropped my first, when Diplo put out my first um, album, Neon Icon. That that was just like day and night. What was the first thing you went and bought when you got that first check from Porsche? Porsche you went and bought there. a Porsche. Was that your dream car, or are you just like happy? I liked the Porsche Panamera at the time. I just got. It. How much was that? Hundred. Light, it's light work. Okay. Did anyone tell you that? Like, were they like, "Hey, don't spend all your, don't spend all your money. Don't forget you got to pay taxes on that." Nobody really said that, but I don't, I don't care. I was gonna spend it anyways, even if they did say, "Don't spend it." You, you said on some interviews that you like. You said people, people think I save all my money, but no, I spend it. Yeah. You're, I mean, even if I spend it, but now I mean I spend stuff that more. I mean, investments and stuff too, you know, not just spend it, but I do spend money. Well, I mean, I, got the, I think the argument that everyone says, like, you, when you die, you can't take it with you, but you're going to live to be so old that you're going to, you're going to need all the money you can for as long as possible. Yeah. I mean, don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like, I just live by like just material things, but I like to buy things. 
I like to buy things too. You know, you buy a lot of the, a lot of the jewelry and whatnot. What's and the the grills? Did you get that from? Is that Johnny Dang? Is yeah. that he's he's a Houston guy, right? Yeah, that's that's the guy out of Houston. Mm-hmm. Too Johnny. How I've always wondered how is it when you put when you put like the grill in like what can't you do? You can't eat with that. I could, but I don't. Hmm. What is how much jewelry do you like to wear at like any given time? Depends. Depends if it's like like the mood. Yeah. Or, what about you're going on a date? A date? Yeah. I don't really go on a date. You don't go on dates? Where? Mm, nice steakhouse. I don't go to steakhouse. Oh house. shit. No. Okay. A nice leaf plant nice leaf house. I'd probably dress like Kanye if I was going out in public. Face I, mask I and all black with a hoodie. You wouldn't even know it's me. I've been to probably like three Gucci Gucci Man concerts. You wouldn't even know I was there. Because you're wearing like a ski mask? Probably. I wouldn't know. I, I, and I might switch it up now because people now I'm saying it. Mm. I, I feel like you're Nobody probably. would know. You're probably so recognizable when you go out. You get stopped a lot? Well, you said you don't go out very often. I try to keep moving. I try to like either ride a scooter or run. <laughs> people be like, are you riffraff? Be like, I can't talk to you right now. I'm going 25 miles an hour. That's my. too many words. What your response was? No. <laughs> I just try to go like this. <laughs> One handy, you probably eat shit. No. I work out. That's I do true. Do push-ups. Stabil- On your bed. The stabilizers. Like a water bed? Mm-mm. Quicksand bed. How would you get out of, you know, how would you get out of quicksand? Everyone says don't move, but then how are you supposed to get out if you don't move? Tow truck. Tow truck. This is in the same world where you're a cow. You're a cow in quicksand. Cow and truck. You're, and you're a cow, a cow tow truck that happened to be right outside. Hmm. Cow tow. Cow t- Cow toe, that's... Why doesn't it rhyme? It doesn't rhyme. But why, why doesn't it rhyme? It's spelled this... It's just one the first letter change. There's a lot of... Shoe. Boo-hoo. You ain't got a clue. Glue. Blue. Blue glue. Gonna take a doo-doo after eating my blue goo. Cow. Tow. Toe. Co. Do you... Wait, why doesn't cow and toe rhyme? I think because they're different since letters. Since you're so smart. All right, well, I mean, I had a 2.4 GPA in high school. No, I'm not talking numbers. I'm not talking math. I'm saying smart. <laughs> What's the craziest line you've ever done that you were like, there's no way I can make something rhyme with this? I feel like dolphin with a tambourine is pretty ridiculous. What about it? I've never, I don't think anyone on this planet has ever used those, a dolphin and a tambourine in the same line, which is iconic, to be honest. Probably a lot of lines that nobody said that I've said. What's what's Hopefully some of your favorite lines? Are. What's one of my favorite ones? Yeah. Nah, nah. I don't know. It's gonna. It's you know. It's gonna be on on a new song coming up. It's gonna be cow toe. Cow tow. Cow tower. Just a giant tower of of cows. Do they have t- tower of pizza? Is that a real thing? It's a leaning tower of pizzas. But is it? Do they have that? Yeah, it's a bunch of pizza boxes stacked, stacked on top of each other. Uh, it just leans over. Where is it? Uh, France. I thought it was something else. I think it's France. I thought it was Le- the Lean Tower of Pisa was the other, was the real one. Oh, it's Pisa? Well, where's the pizza one? France. France is where pizza's from, so. No Veronians. Leaning Tower of Pizza. Italy. Italy. You're, you're going to open a restaurant with your sour No, I want to open a Mexican restaurant. Okay. And all the mixed drinks are, have like some straps over the sides. That's true. Well, I, I'm, st- I'm kind st- of someone who thinks that like everyone should just like the exact same things I like. So my Mexican restaurant will only have fajitas and frozen mm-hmm. margaritas. Or nachos. No nachos. I don't really knock, like nachos. To get, they get all soggy. You ever get a big plate of nachos? Why don't you have the chips right here and then like a dip right here? Cheese sauce. And let people pour as much as they want. How much? Have you ever eaten nachos? You yeah. can't. It, it, you take one, and it's yeah. like the chip breaks off, and then you have. Wow, like, well, well, that that sounds like a shitty restaurant. 
That sounds like shitty nachos. You think so? But the shitty nachos from who served you nachos that when you pull it out, then it's, is it, is it like. I've eaten nachos one time and then mm -hmm. I said never again. Really? How shitty this experience I gotta was. I got to make, okay. I got to make, I'll make some nachos. How would you make nachos? I, you don't get to learn grandma's secret recipe now. Yellow cheese or white cheese? You don't get to know that until you get. To you got to give me it. a little taste. Okay. It's some, uh, it's Blanco queso. Okay. Well, luck luckily for you, I speak Spanish. So no, see, si. no, you're not. No, you're not. Would you ever open a restaurant? Yeah. What kind? Food truck. I don't know if that's a restaurant. That's just a truck. It's a mobile food truck. Okay. What would it be called? Uh, Dale Dan Tony's double dipping taco truck. I don't know. Would you sell meat even though you don't eat meat? No. I'm not going to sell animals and make money off them, off dead bodies. I'm not saying it, it's impossible, but you know how when people- Impossible uh, meat? No. Beyond burgers. No, this is, this is for your Ferrari ah. people. Ah. You know how people light, write letters to Congress, you could write a letter to Those Ferrari. don't give a shit. Who, Ferrari or Congress? Both. Okay. I don't give a damn. I feel like you could be the spokesman for the first ever vegan leather Ferrari. Sure. If and then you do a remix it. to the Ferrari song coming out called Vegan Ferrari. That's a little much. Now I'm really, now I'm forcing it. I'm forcing it. I think it's, I think it's your, you're preaching to the people about what you I believe in. I want to preach. But I don't, I, I would just say watch what the hell. I'm not, I see me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell somebody you should do this because I got too many things that I should be doing, you know. But if you want to talk to me about something that I am into. You're into trucks. Into, Yeah. Big trucks. I don't think trucks are going to save. Well, trucks could save uh, animal lives. Well, yeah, because your, your truck's so big. If, the if cow tow company for, for all the cows that get caught in If an animal runs across the street in your truck, you're not going to hit it because you're going to run right over it I've with stopped space. I've in the middle of traffic and put my house lights on and turn sideways and like get a turtle. If a turtle in the middle of the road. And if a turtle is walking one way, you have to take it to the direction it was walking. That's true. Take it back and just do it again. Can I tell you a story you about a turtle? Fast forward to the future. One time, my friend stopped, just like you did, to save this turtle's yeah. life. And he took that turtle and he plopped it in the lake, right? Because he's mm -hmm. like, turtle, go back to the water. I'm, you're safe now. It turned out that turtle was a tortoise. Turns okay. out tortoises can't swim. Well, you don't go all the way to the water. You just take it to Well, he thought he was helping the yeah. turtle and he ended up killing a tortoise. Yeah. Well, he was trying. I feel like that as long as as long as you're trying out there, that's like all you yeah, can do. Yeah, I guess do. don't take it all the way to the water. And we're just talking turtles here. I know. You ever seen those videos? You ever seen the documentaries of like turtles being born? And sometimes they the document it like them getting picked up by birds and stuff. And I'm like, the cameraman could help the turtles. I know. Whenever I see something like that, like they'll be like National Geographic. Or something. Just, they don't want to mess with nature though. Right. That turtle was supposed to die, I guess. Mm. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't agree with that. You're a big animal guy. You have two beautiful pupsy, pup, puppers. Yeah. Which one did you get first? The Holly. Okay. The red one. The red one. And then the, you have the white one. Yeah, she's five. Oh. A bigger one is seven. How was the puppy training process? What was, what was Riff Raff's puppy training process? Um, Cause I'm sure they were pissing on your Gucci sheets and stuff. Yeah, but if they go to the bathroom, Inside, I, I don't. I, I just I take them outside. So if you see they went to the bathroom, then keep them outside. I mean, when they're young, you gotta keep them outside like a lot. Like from outside, then let them go back in. So I think the instincts of dogs just naturally go to the bathroom outside. Now, if you have a dog that goes to the bathroom inside a lot, you just gotta keep it outside a lot, and it'll eventually learn. I think I'm going to apply that same tactic to when I have children mm. that I'm just going to put it outside in the grass for like most sure. of the day. I'll put like a little umbrella like on his head so then he doesn't get um, sunburn. Sunburn, right? Because okay. he doesn't want that because he doesn't have hair yet. But right. then if he shits, he, he, he's, it's he's, outside. he's not throwing up on my shoulder. He's throwing up on the, in sure. the grass outside. It's good. I think it's good. I've never had kids, but that sounds like a, it could work. Are you going to have kids? One day. Boy or girl. If you could I don't choose. Know. Would you want a little riff raff or a little riffina raff, 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 raffiola? Hmm. I can't even think about kids right now. These two huskies. They're your babies? There's just a lot of um, responsibilities. 
What's the biggest? What's the Too biggest? Many responsibilities right now. What's the biggest responsibility? Remembering, remembering to feed them. Sometimes when I leave for the weekend, I just fill my dog's bowl up with food and I just kind of leave him, and then I, he, he just kind of shits throughout the house, and then they can't go in now. Huh? Do you I have a doggy door? Time? No, he's old enough. He doesn't need it. It's, okay. it's like you know when you were fifteen, you probably didn't have like. Yeah, so he can't go in, in and out. No, he just walks around the house when I'm and gone. Take shit through her. Yeah, I just clean up when I get back. Okay, that's. I mean, hey, you can do it like that. That's a good strategy, I think. Whatever works. When someone on your team said, when you travel, you, you give your dogs your own their own hotel room? Yeah. That seems... It depends. If, if they're with me... You don't want them cuddled up next to you? Well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, they can sleep... When I get back, what if I have to go somewhere? Like, I don't want them tearing shit up. They uh-huh. can tear up the other room. Ain't my credit card. It's theirs. That's true. Are they on the payroll? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think dogs get for like credit card points? What would they use them for? Probably cookies. Not with chocolate chips. They die. I don't think they die. They just get, they just be really happy for a little bit. I thought if you give dogs chocolate, they immediately, you know, people Probably. freak, people freak out when you get when like, oh my God, they had a plate of chocolate yeah. chip cookies. So like if, if a dog eats like a whole like, pound of or like brownie batter but they took it off the counter then they'll be okay but if a human gives them like one chocolate chip then it's bad i think that's how it works hmm. if they got it themselves out of the trash like they get like so if they do it with their own intent they're good yeah if you give it it's bad you're gonna get trubs <laughs> you're gonna get grounded it's it's like it, the, the poison from our bodies transfuse into the cookie Something like that. Do you cook your own food? Mm-hmm. What do you cook? Everything. Spaghetti sauce, oatmeal. You just cook spaghetti sauce? And oatmeal. You put spaghetti sauce on your oatmeal? Sure. What is that? What, like, what's your breakfast every morning? Um, my you're, breakfast, you're a man of fitness now, right? Not really. Health? You, you're yeah. asking me if I eat sugar and whatnot? Cause, probably because you saw this chiseled body and right. thought that nothing yeah, nothing bad goes into this. Yeah, you don't eat any, any sugar. Some people don't eat sugar. Like, that's the thing. I mean, I don't eat spoonfuls of sugar, but I, I eat things that have sugar in them. Yeah, I like I like eating candy. What's your favorite candy? Sour Stripes. What, there, I was about to go, what's your favorite candy? <laughs> <laughs> sour Stuff. Sour Stuff? Sour, sour Snips. Sour Snips. If you ate gummy candy with the grills in, would it, like, pull the grill away from your mouth? I don't eat gummy candy because it has what, like what those? Yours, your candy? Just, just any, any candy. I don't. Well, yeah. Laffy taffy. Would it pull my teeth out? Would yeah. it pull this out? I wouldn't eat it with this in. It would get dirty. I can't have dirty diamonds. That's true. Is that? Do, do you have multiple sets of those? Just one. I've lost grills before. Do people ever wonder if you have real teeth under those? Do you? To be honest, if you ever decided, I hate going to the dentist so much, you could just get rid of all your teeth. Yeah. Then you never Some need to brush. It. Some people get permanent, permanent. Diamond I don't know if that's a strategy. You get implants, platinum, titanium, all diamonds. Implants? Yeah, every angle of the tooth diamond. Have you had any implants? Mm-mm. Nothing? You want to get any surgeries? Knee surgeries? anything no i had a penis enlargement surgery a couple years ago big success huge success am i right babe that's right what do you think of plastic surgery for who anyone anybody can do whatever they want that's not for me what do you think about people altering the way they look because i mean i feel like the way you look is the way you look you know you could do whatever if people can do whatever they want i think I think when um, some, th- some things that like people would want to do, it's like they don't have to tell everybody or they don't have to get like, just, I think everything turns into like a group chat. I don't know why everybody have to be involved with everything. But I think people like go, t- I don't know, it's too much. I, 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 everybody can do whatever they want. That's true. Whatever makes people happy. Yeah. And especially everyone would be even happier if they were right around in vegan 
vegan leather Ferraris. But or a scooter. I don't. I like walking. That's too much exercise. You think so? Yeah. That's why I made the most durable, comfortable indoor outdoor shoes of all time. Do you just like walk around the? Do you like go to the malls in the morning and walk around with all like the older people? No, I don't have to. Because I, I invented these. That's those, right. Those are your shoes? Yeah, I invented them. I right thought now? those were some of like the most wild Nikes I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. I think this is the best indoor outdoor basketball shoe of all time. And you could go rock climbing in them even. You go rock climbing in those? You could. That's how it's built for. You see the bottom? Let me see that. Yeah, those the are rock climbing shoes. Closed in the dark. I thought you were really tall, but it turns out those shoes just give you six I inches I of height. Put, I just put these on. So you think I was taller before? Wait till you see how much more tall I am now. <laughs> how yeah, you, th yeah, this this is about like, yeah. How you bounce. How how do you invent shoes? Well, Where I do drew you, them first. And then I had to go find a manufacturer. And the first person I went to, they hit this dude, he put a like a difference, like a um a Nike up tempo uh -huh. sole on it. You can't get that reproduced. You can't. So I pay. I end up paying. Because copyright, right? Well, sure. Yeah. And, and 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 I didn't want an up tempo, so I want my own. So they ended up like uh, he he was you know he took my drawing, tried to bring it to life. Then he um, like tried to say that he made the shoe, and I'm like, dude, you you one you didn't make it, and That's then true. two, you did some good craftsmanship on it, but you put an up tempo sole. So I had to go. I, that that money that was a gamble. So that I lost like twenty k, to 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 do that. But twenty thousand yes, dollars for the shoes. But I had I got to use that mold to go and show online and be like, hey, this is not what I was looking for. So I need somebody better. And uh, so then the internet, uh, one good, it's good, internet could be good or bad. So this actually played good. Yeah. Because there's a lot of shoe um, companies and shoe designers reached out and said, I, that's a pretty dope design, and I put it on there and with along my picture I said this is, and I said what happened so I put it up tempo so not this one so then this brand reached out to me and uh, they had really like quality products and they really wanted to get to like collab on this yeah and bring it to life and um that's the brand school in the overseas and we just went back and forth for the last three years and 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 there's I could show you the other prototypes I'm not, I'm not gonna lie when I say this this might be the coolest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. I'm going to show you the other ones that were the prototypes, like the four other ones, and they were just a little bit off, like the color was off, or it wasn't as bright of paint. Like if you take glass off, you can see like how. Ah. <laughs> but you see, but like I'll show you the other ones. But like we made sure the material was like stronger. What, what do you call those? These are the neon Hong Kongs. Neon Hong Kongs. Are they? Are you? But it's, so, so, so it's the it's the riffraff. But the, the carbon fiber cheesecake, these are the carbon fiber cheesecake. Carbon fiber cheesecake. And, and, the, and the colorway, the, the model of the shoe is the uh, carbon fiber cheesecake. And, and the, the colorway of this show, shoe is the neon Hong Kong. Okay. Are you ever going to sell those or are those for yeah. you only? Yeah, they, these come out in like a- Oh, this month. is like an exclusive kind of thing. These, these, like you haven't launched these yet. Right. They come out like- How much are they going to cost? We haven't got that exactly- thousand dollars i don't even want to say the price yet because we, we're still we got to work on it shoes are expensive man i yeah. I, I went to a phase where i was buying all these damn <clears throat> mm -hmm. jordans to tiptoe in and freaking i didn't know how expensive this whole shoe world is i was walking around with you know mom and dad nike fly nets or something everyone's calling me a loser behind my back that's not nice i know and then i got materialistic they shouldn't be like that it, now everyone says wow cool shoes and then because they say cool shoes, they're like, he must be a cool guy. Oh, wow. Because your coolness starts at your feet, travels up your body. Oh. I know. Cool. Were you wearing these in your most recent video? The Ferrari one? No. The, no. Don't make me. That's one. The truck. Oh, I think so. Ain't giving but, up my truck. But I don't think it was these exact ones. Like it was my previous pair. Mm -hmm. That was the because this looks like the freaking truck that is in all the videos. Yeah, the, this is the this is the I just got these right before the Ferrari video. Mm. Tell me about the new video that's coming out with Ferrari, the Ferrari video with Wiz Khalifa. Mm -hmm. So, how, how did that how did that happen? 
Well, I had I got the song Ferrari. Why isn't it called Lamborghini? I heard I did a song called Lamborghini Lamborghini Leglock. That's I that's what I, I called a, you earlier. I got a cease and desist from them. You're it, not like worried about two, that Ferrari? Two days after it came out. Are you no. cool with Ferrari? They're not gonna send you one? They're fine. Why did Lamborghini get upset about you saying Lamborghini I don't know. leg lock? You're giving them promotion. I don't know. What does yeah. that even mean, Lamborghini leg lock? Like what? you're gonna leg lock like a figure four in a Lamborghini? Sure. There's not like an origin of it? Just Lamborghini leg lock. Okay. And what, okay, so tell me about the Ferrari song. Yeah, so it's a, it's a song and it's, um, it's, it's got, it talks about Ferrari. Yeah. And then we, I got Wiz, Wiz got on it. He liked the song, so it worked out. And when does it come out? When is the launch? Mm, I think a couple of days before the, this podcast lost. Do you, you release always the song and then the video, or do you do you do them at the same time? I mean, probably song and then video, but sometimes both at the same time. What's the best strategy that you found? I don't know. Do you the best strategy is... Do you analyze what like other rappers are doing or you just kind of stay in your lane? You're like, I'm going to do it. Promotion wise or like just everything. I mean, I, I, I keep up with everything. I'm like, you know, you're always watching. Yeah. But just like on accident, cause I'm just uh, into music. So I know pretty much who's your favorite artist. Top three of all time. Doesn't have to be rap. You don't have any top three? Mm. Do you have anyone that you like? Toby Keith, Reba McIntyre, and Depeche Mode. I don't know the last one. I know the, fir I know yeah, the first Depeche couple. Road. So when you're driving around in your big ass truck, you're listening to Reba McIntyre? Sometimes. What's your favorite song by Reba McIntyre? Mm. She, got she got so many hits though. It's probably impossible. Yeah, it's a lot. Do you get inspired by other artists? Yeah. yeah. Like what? Um, I mean, I guess, I guess just hearing a song could, the quality of a song, the, the, the melody of a song could. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been about to put out, you got like a whole bunch of, whole bunch of beats, a whole bunch of songs coming out, and then you listen to someone else's new album that comes out, and you're like, shit they used a very similar beat to what I got going on and then you got to switch it up or does that never happen? Never. You just take the gamble and you go. I don't think it's ever been that that's ever happened. I don't think I've ever been about to put something out and then somebody did it, did something that I was about to do. Cause, well, cause in my and, head, I feel like with beats, they're probably like, like at a certain point, I feel like everyone's going to like run out of like, like, do you ever think you're like run out of beats? No. I feel like they won't like they all they all been produced. How about this? Do you think you're gonna run out of sour flavors? Eventually. No. I mean, I then I, you just call me and I'll tell you exactly what to do. What would be some sour chips flavors you'd come out with? Dude, I'd come out with a million. What are th what are three <clears throat> flavors you would want of candy? What will it be called? Cantaloupe creamsicle. Um. Uh, you're not going to send me a cease and desist if I use see? Can That's what you see now. Cream creamsicle, right? Well, see, I can't just throw these out right now. <laughs> we'll have to talk. I can, I'll write 50 down and then. 50? No, sure, I can write 100. I can make 100 flavors. I can make 100 different color packagings. I could come up with. I believe it. I mean, after seeing these damn shoes, I don't think there's anything like, creative-wise you couldn't like come out of left field with that people are like, what the fuck? Because you know, you, like when you think, when you think of, I feel like when people look at your music and look at everything that you've, that you've done, it's, it's, it's like in its own lane. It's in its own like unique vibe. And I think that's why people who have fucked with you for so long, you know, since, since you came up and even, even to now with even, you know, uh, new audiences finding you and, and everything like that. One thing that I've heard, I don't know if this is, this, you know, this is just what the internet does. Some people think that the, the riffraff, riffraff persona is like a, like an act or like it's a persona what do you say to those people like what what would that what would that mean mm. like like in reference to everything that i've done i don't know i mean it'd be like think, think about like it'd be like that, that you're like I, 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 is, is, is 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 lebron is lebron that would be like this 
I don't know, man. LeBron James, like <laughs> he put, he puts on a pretty good actor. He's a good basketball player, but like, come on, like you you think he when he goes home and and he's and he's at his house that he can he's really still an NBA player? That's true. I guess that's good. That's what you say to people. I mean, no, I don't even say that. I just can't. I just thought about that right now. It's just like, what is that in reference to after everything I've already done? I think people. I think people probably haven't seen like a uh, like a persona like you with your kind of like upbeat character. And people think they like maybe it might be like a like you're not you're I don't not think like I'm a, upbeat like that though. I think you're I think you're a cool guy. Thanks. I don't think I'm upbeat. I don't know what. How would you describe yourself? I wouldn't. Riff raff, really cool guy, man of few words. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'd describe myself as. Probably got so many thoughts going through your brain right now. You can't think of lock, lock down one thing. Mm-hmm. Well, regardless of that, man, what's, what's next for you? I know you, got the, I know you got the new song coming out, new album shortly after. Mm. Any sneak peeks or hidden things you want to let the people in know? Yeah, I mean, Terry Chupacabra album, that, that should come out pretty soon. Yeah? How many tracks are on it? Hmm, maybe 15. Maybe 15 or something. How do you know when, a, when an album has like too many or too, too few songs? I, try, I mean, I really should think it should be like album, it should be 10 songs. That seems like a good amount. Yeah. But like 15 should be like kind of max. Like, you don't want you don't want too many songs. Yeah, I mean, some people don't care. They'll put like fifty songs on an album. Chris literally. Brown comes out. He comes out with albums that have like eighty five songs on them, seventeen that, CDs. That might work. And then you got the opposite. People come out with a brand new album, and it's just like some EP, and it's like two songs. Mm. I mean, I I like to just do albums, but like I think like eight songs to twelve songs is about a good album. And but you know. And then do a video for every song and like have it really organized. Every single song you want to have a video for? That's probably like the, if you're, I think that's. I feel like a lot of people just take their, whatever they think are going to be like the, let's say you have 15 tracks, take five of them. That's, a, that's okay to do it like that. If it was up to me, you know what I mean? Do you, can, do you come up with the video ideas? Sometimes. You help with them? Mm-hmm. But. It varies. Okay. Well, cool, man. Is anything anything else you want to leave people with? New music coming soon, obviously. Any like secret stuff you're working on? Um, we gonna see you in Spring Breakers too. All it takes is for one for a director and, and an investor to come with the money, and then it it happens. I, it I ain't know, up I, to me. A lot of shit ain't up to me. Yeah, you think it is, right? Well, you're the final say. You're the thing, but if I have the initial say, if the initial say don't even do nothing, like if it was up to me, I would have been in the um, Spring Breakers. Mm. I know you've got so Spring Breakers that. too. To this day, I still I still think they based that character off you, dude. Do you do you, do you not know me and Harmony Korine did a, a, a um, photo shoot and did a, a magazine cover for that? And, and that I was supposed to be in the movie with him, with James Franco. Yeah, it was supposed. To, it wasn't supposed to be James Franco is playing me. Mm-hmm. I was. It was supposed to be me and James Franco in the movie. Mm. I can show you the emails of exactly. I'd what never it even seen the movie till mm-hmm. like three weeks ago. It was actually pretty wild. And then now, and I was like, because I was like, I need to do some research, and I've heard people talk about the comparisons or if it if it was or not. And then I watch it. Yeah, I feel like there's no way that it wasn't right. But to be honest, I think. And if you even look up, you can look up James Franco Riff Raff, and if you look, you'll see everything that that my all my pictures in the dressing room of him for the movie. I was supposed really? to be there. Yes. Oh you can shit! Do it right now. If you want? You, keep, you look. I still. I, well, I think they need to give you a royalty check on that movie. Okay. Man. There's nothing. No, just put me in Spring Breakers too. Spring Break. There was never. There was never any problems with me and James Franco. I sent. I sent him. Clothes for, I send him merch and shit. We're, you got to cool. send him some of those shoes. Yeah, I'll send him these shoes. I'm cool with everybody. Well, that's cool, man. Well, I want to say thanks for coming on the uh, Let Me Come in Your Beautiful Home with your sturdy walls and your four-pane four, pl- four pane 
thick window glass. I appreciate you uh, sitting, sitting down. I know you're a busy man. And um, anyone that is watching, if you're unfamiliar with our boy Riff Raff here, all of his content is going to be down in the description. And by the time this goes up, his new song, his new video with Wiz Khalifa, Will Wiz Khalifa is on your, tra your track, will be down in the description. Make sure you go check it out. A link to the, will the video be out or just a song? I think so. Part of the song. Okay. Well, either way, I'll put whatever's available Thanks. down in the description. Go check it out. Give it some positive reviews. And uh, actually, I heard, the, I heard the full track in here and it's sick. So I'm excited for all you guys to listen to it. That'll wrap it up for this episode of Don't Be Sour. Thank you so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips and never forward. Never drive forward what? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, uh, I said, thanks for tuning in, which is a play on my last name. Oh, chew? Tuning. Like chew? Like chew. Okay. Kind of. And then I said, eat more sour strips, which is just plugging, you know, always, yeah. always then, be selling. And then Ever Forward, which is a clothing brand that I oh, own. Oh, okay. Ever Forward. Yeah. Got it. So it's a little, you know, it's a little play on all the, all the brands. Ah, Eva Longoria. Got it. Nice. That's, yeah. That's what I said. Mm hmm <laughs> Evans Ford? He has a Ford? Even Lagoria has he a Ford. He said Evans Ford.